Hello and welcome to another episode of my Facts and Glitches series, where I showcase some more of what I've learned about GTA 5 in my almost 8,000 hours of speedrunning the game and for my awesome viewers. If you fail on some missions, you and your allies will respawn in your vehicle. Starting these missions with a tank, which only has one seat, can produce interesting results. My dear boy, so good to see you, so good. Let's go to Vespucci. What we waiting for? Magellan Ave, nigga. Vespucci Beach. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos dude? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. There's some reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. On the side mission Vime with the Last Act, Trevor is tasked with either freeing or killing a famous movie star that was kidnapped by two elderly fans. It turns out the game isn't all that picky in regards to where you release him. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up? I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruit Cake and Lady Scroolus back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al. On the jewel store heist, we use a Benson truck to escape the police. It seems very suited to this task, given that it's immune to explosions. This immunity magically vanishes once you've lost the cops and transitioned into the next scene. On random events involving returning money to someone, if you switch weapon just as you get back to them, the game will have a visual glitch. The easiest way to guarantee the timing is correct is to spam change weapon using PC hotkeys. Here, man. Man, I'm a hypocrite. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. When your car is flipped upside down, you cannot fire your weapon in third person, but you can in first person. On the mission Trevor Phillip Industries, Tao Chang will vibe to the radio, but only when it's set to particular radio stations. Forgive my hasty presentation, but testing all the radio stations, he basically likes anything techno or electronic. It is very impressive that someone took the time to program this into the game. At this location on the map, there is a very large chessboard. Unfortunately, the pieces cannot be moved. When in water, if you want to know whether helicopters will see you as they fly over, you should watch your map, as going deep enough will give you a black arrow, indicating that you will almost certainly not be detected. <gasps> Many times I have presented facts about how you get a black arrow on the map when you're less likely to be detected, but the assumption was always that these didn't apply to GTA Online. It turns out that this is untrue. For example, the fact that you can stop your car on a bush and re-enter it in order to have the cops forget what car you are driving does work online. This isn't obvious because your arrow never turns black, likely due to some other color overwriting it, but as you can see, the effect is present. Mm. 
Under Jimmy's desk in his room, you can find CDs from Mad Dog and OG Loke, both prominent rappers in GTA San Andreas. Okay, you better chill. If you destroy the benches before going to meet Lester for the first assassination mission, it makes the cutscene very awkward. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh shit, y'all two did that? Look forward. Planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. The Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond, of course he'll be well protected, but... After the cutscene, normally Lester remains sitting so you don't leave together and raise suspicion. Now, he walks off immediately. He doesn't go anywhere of note, but he does have a very strange animation whenever he turns a corner. Oh, and as always, you can shoot Lester. The bottom of Devon Weston's pool has collision as normal for everything except weapons for some reason. On the mission Mr. Richards, Michael is accosted by men who each come out of their own individual rooms. These rooms are normally inaccessible, you cannot walk through them or explode or shoot them open, but they will open if you ragdoll into them. Once inside, you can actually listen to the men upstairs having a discussion. Not that it's very interesting, but you really shouldn't be able to hear them so clearly. You got any kale chips? Nah, we don't got that. You want Molly? Molly. Sit tight, all right? Technically, it is possible to pass Rocco without beating him in a fist fight. While using normal weapons will result in a mission fail, lighting him on fire with gasoline doesn't count for some reason. Jerry the Geriatrics got a piece. Holster it. And my boys are strapped too, if that's how you want to settle it. I thought we was doing this like men. All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. In the interaction menu, you have the option of creating a purple line to the nearest barbershop. In single player, this works correctly everywhere except near the casino. In GTA Online, there is a barber at the casino and, despite it being absent in single player, the interaction menu will incorrectly direct a player to it anyway. People sitting at bus stops have a strange relationship with the bus stop itself. For simplicity's sake, Rockstar has made firefighters immune to fire. However, they gain this immunity after they get out of their vehicle. If you interrupt this process, they do not gain the immunity. Sometime after Trevor starts a relationship with Patricia, she becomes immune to fire and is overall very glitchy.
me do that! Each of the main characters can call four other characters for a hangout. If you die on these hangouts, there is some unique dialogue and a text message from your friend. Alright, let's get cracked. Whatever. Crazy motherfucker. What's it take to kill you, huh? Ha <laughs> Paramedics look like they had it in hand. Hope they didn't touch you funny when you were out. Shit, homie, you okay? Uh, think I'll be talking about seeing that in therapy for the next 20 years, lol. You gonna try? That kid's paying my hospital bill. Looks kinda serious, homie. Hope you okay. Ha ha ha, T, you should know. I don't go down that easy. What's it take to kill you, huh? Ha 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 ha. I hope you're okay, but you know that was your fault, asswipe. Uh, think I'll be talking about seeing them in therapy for the next 20 years. Hey, you gonna drive home? Oh, Franklin, you klutz. Looks kinda serious, homie. Hope you okay. Where's my hospital pickup, Mike, you selfish prick? Hope you're alright, bud. I hear hospital food's okay. Whoa, that looks serious. Glad you're okay, lol. And lastly, I knew they couldn't hold you down, homie. You a survivor. And so that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you have anything that you think would be of interest to me for this series, feel free to submit it to my Discord. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well, as I have many more episodes coming really soon. I hope you're all doing well.